much of history, business management was about identifying problems, identifying weaknesses in the people working for you, and helping them overcome those barriers. It was about four decades ago that Peter Drucker, who is often called the father of modern management, identified a change of thinking. He said, hey, let's work with people on their strengths. But that raised the issue that many people don't know what they're good at and that you can't do world-class work unless, that you're, unless you're leading with your strengths. So the issue for many is not understanding what they're good at. And so the problem begins in the head, in the mind. And if you're not coming from a place of strength, then you're probably not having the achievement at work that you would like. And that gets to be a burden that you carry around. Lack of achievement at work is a morale killer. It's deadly for staff. And it's critical now because the trends have been disturbing. For 25 years from about the mid 70s to the turn of the century, we saw significant gains in job satisfaction. That began to plateau about 10 years ago and now is on the decline. And survey after survey indicates one of the main reasons is that people don't feel they're bringing all their talents to work. They don't feel like they're being used well. So we have this dual condition where people don't feel like they're using their talents at work, but they don't have the total awareness of what their strengths are. When we work with organizations on improving performance, one of the places we can start is at the foundation. It's the footing. And we start with the Clifton Strengths Finder. There are other tools out there like Myers Briggs, Disk Profile. You may have used those in the past. We prefer Strengths Finder because frontline staff have an easier time with the language. It's less technical, it's easier to identify with, and it gets the discussion started quicker. Strengths Finder posits there are 34 major themes about humanity and that all of us fall under four or five of them, have those kind of core strengths at our heart. And if we can identify those four or five, we can begin to channel more energy into those and therefore have more success. And of course, then the issue becomes, well, I, I take this test, I have this information, now what do I do with it? Well, we will work with you individually or work with your team and our work covers three basic themes. We look at yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So what we start out with is yesterday, taking the information in your strengths finder and showing you what you've done in the past to use those strengths. You just didn't start finding them today. You've been using them your whole life. And the achievement you've had is rooted in those four or five markers. And then we'll look at today. What current work do you have to up your game in? And can you bring strength to those projects and therefore have greater accomplishment? And finally, looking at tomorrow, this is strategic thinking. Identify projects, identify work that you will do well, that you'll do at high quality, and that will add energy to your life. So it's about discovering your strengths, and providing a framework for utilizing them so that you upped your game. And we work with you one-to-one -one coaching, or we will work with a team of yours. That could be a team of senior managers, it could be a team of volunteers, it could be your board of directors. Using some simple exercises, you gain understanding, have tools for applying to your current work, and then help you think broader about your future work, so that in the end, not only do you up your performance, but you're a lot more satisfied with your work.